Hi, Trevor here from the Option Key. I'm going to go over uh, an issue with some Intel teaming and VLAN drivers uh, for server 2012, 2012 R2, 2016. Uh, they all work virtually the same. Uh, so a symptom of the issue that I'm having is being unable to get team and VLAN info with the driver. So if I go to my uh, network and sharing center, if I go to my adapter settings, I see a team and I see this disabled virtual services adapter. Now, this adapter is more or less made when the team is made. So I go to get the properties and then go to configure the adapter. I get get team info failed. Press OK. And I can't see in my VLAN states. I also cannot add or remove them or edit them. I'm essentially stuck. And just to show, so there's a live enabled Ethernet adapter and then the physical adapters. doesn't say that it's even teamed even though it clearly says in the OS that it's teamed. So what we're going to do here is um, rebuild the adapter based on Intel's uh, So we have a major issue here. This is a production machine. We can't just delete and remove the driver. Uh, we have several virtual switches that are running. And we'll want to reduce the amount of downtime uh, of those virtual switches. So we're not actually going to delete those virtual switches. I'm going to show you a neat little trick. Um, saves you a couple clicks. Uh, you could take it for what it's worth. I think it's well worth the time savings. So you saw that uh, we got a VLAN error and here's the Intel article about uh, VLANs and teaming. Uh, why we got that uh, VLAN ID uh, is not being available causing caused by missing our corrupt file. Uh, we do these steps, the install of the Intel network connection software, then we reinstall it and configure the team or VLAN. Now for creating the team and VLAN, we're going to reference uh, two articles from Intel. Uh, create a new NIC team on a host computer or VM and setting up uh, NIC teaming for Windows Server 2012, 2012 R2, and 2016. Uh, this article was last reviewed October 13th, 2017. So about a year old. And we're just going to go through this procedure uh, for creating the networks. Uh, and we're going to use, uh, we're going to cheat a little bit with the uh, Hyper-V, as I was saying, by changing the virtual switches into private mode. That will keep us from having to recreate the virtual switches.
So we've downloaded our Intel drivers and what we're going to do is we need to first switch our virtual switches uh, to private mode for all our virtual network switches. Otherwise we can't uninstall the drivers. I want to go into the virtual switch manager. Now I have an untagged VLAN and five tagged VLANs. Before we go and change our virtual switches to private mode, we'll want to move any uh, virtual machines off of uh, this node before we proceed. So we'll just go ahead and do that. So we're going to do a live migration. Just pick a node. Doesn't matter which one. Only got two VMs on this node. Let's get them off. And once we do that, we can go ahead and go back to our virtual switch manager and change all the uh, networks to private. So with the uh, virtual machines off this node, we can go ahead and change our virtual switches to private, which will disconnect uh, the live internet network and remove all the VLAN tagging and uh, network association with these switches, which will allow us to remove the Intel driver, uninstall and reinstall, and then we reassociate the virtual switches with their proper VLAN in the new setup. So let's just take a few minutes and while we're doing that we can bring up the control panel. We can bring up the add remove programs because we got to remove our uh, virtual network connections. All right so the uninstall is finished and we're going to install our uh, new Intel drivers. And another thing I'm going to want to install in this is uh, Windows Management Framework 5.1. This will allow me to use Windows Admin Center for remotely managing the server in the future. But we'll get the adapters set up first. Whole process takes roughly about 20 minutes. Most of that is waiting for the uninstall reinstall of the network driver. Once our driver gets reinstalled, we go through the server manager to set up and configure the teaming and the VLANs. And then once we have that configured, we can then go back to our Hyper-V manager uh, and modify the virtual switches to take the proper network and specify the tagged VLAN or untagged uh, network so that it properly gets uh, reset up. All right, so our driver is finished installing. With our driver installed, now we want to bring up our server manager. A local server and right here where it says Nick teaming disabled we want to click on that and here we want to find our Ethernet adapters press control so to select both. We want to add it to a new team. We get dialog box with box with what we want to call it. These are I350s. So I'm just calling it I350. And then under additional properties, um, you have three different options. Static teaming, switch independent, and LACP. 
I'm going to use LACP, uh, the switch that this is connected to supposedly supports it. Static teaming is if it's supposed to support LACP, but doesn't quite match up to the standards. And switch independent is it software is going to do its best to try to do load balancing and that kind of thing. And right here you have different load balancing address hash v hyper v port and dynamic dynamic is supposed to be the best of uh, both hash and hyper v port uh, if you want some more information about that you can check out my full blog post about this in the comments or uh, in the description area hit apply And this will take a few seconds, and there we go. Our connections are active. Now we go to team interfaces. You can add additional information and the general information here. So this is VLAN. Here, and then I'm gonna just start adding interfaces. Okay, so we have our VLANs back in. So we know our adapter is the multiplexer driver, and we know which VLAN that belongs to. So when we go to our virtual switch, Virtual switch setting, that is annoying. External network, multiplexer driver. And this is untagged, so we don't put anything in the VLAN ID. Hit apply. I'm just going to pin this to task. All right, and that is it. We have all our VLANs on here. We can edit, modify, add, remove, get the properties on the interface, and we can reconnect to our other servers. Uh, local server. There's our NIC teaming, how they're all connected, uh, any errors, and then you can go through the log editor. And so looks like we have some DNS servers to fix. And that error was and we got a decom issue here with another node. So um yeah, a little bit of cleanup to do. We can now uh view our uh networks and uh packets sent received, how well they're doing. Uh packets, discarded errors, and all that other good stuff. But that's essentially how you reset the network adapter and set it up uh, to use the NIC teaming mode sanctioned by Intel for your server 2012, 2012R2, and 2016. I hope you found this informative 